I'm making this great taco. He turned into another crappy Friday when I'm making my own. Hell, hell, any, hell, hell. And we're we'll talking about a little bit about the summit select this juicy IPA. And this concept might give you some ideas of how to make your own IPA or beer at home. Right now we got the water going on with the grains and the water boiling. And in a couple minutes, we're going to be adding the extract syrup. And what you want to do with the syrup is sit in some nice hot water so it's nice and loose. Once your 20 minutes is up, we're going to want to take the grains out. Take the water off the heat because the syrup will burn to the pan. You do not want that. And you want to pour it slowly into the water. Mix it until it is totally... The uh, Slugfest from Summit, Slugfest from Summit Brewery, St. Paul, Minnesota. Probably brewed in St. Paul, Minnesota. This is a juicy IPA. My call level, I would have to say, is about 6.0. Fruity and citrus, is all juicy IPAs are. This is one a little bit darker than your typical IPA that I have shown in the past. my IPAs. the first week my beer has been fermenting and I'm going to put in my last of my hops into my beer as I'm making an IPA and IPAs are very citrus and fruity tasting and have a lot of hops in them. Greg Sacco and even turned into another crap beer Friday as I am in the home stretch of creating my own IPA. One of the last steps I was going to be doing is adding this corn sugar to it. I got my water almost to a boil, a cup of water, and this is my five gallons of beer that has been fermenting for the past two weeks. I'm going to put the corn sugar in the bottom of this. I'm going to transfer the beer over to here. And it's gonna mix for another week or two in your bottle for another week and should be ready to go. Thank you.